Well, hello guys. Welcome to the Dundas Junction Model Railroad. I thought I'd do a little update on the progress on the layout. Update on a project that you probably refer to as the what I'm calling the pink locomotive. Uh, it arrived from Heath eventually and uh, we, it got damaged during the uh, shipment process. Well, we've done some work to that little puppy now. So we'll show you that on the layout and a bit of a tour of what I've done and go from there. So I'm gonna pause this camera. I'm also trying out this new uh, gimbal I got from Sparky. So I'm doing the test run today. It's just trying out different ways of using it. But so far I like it. Uh, needs a bit of modifications to it, but it looks good. So we'll go from there guys. See you in a bit. I'm gonna pause this and just gonna switch it around. Okay guys, so um, this is the New York Central F7 that I got from Heath. The uh, F7 got damaged during the shipment process. So we repaired the damaged couplers, uh, repaired the broken side frame to the truck, and we decided to upgrade it to uh, a basic DCC chip. And I pulled the plug out for the back and rubbed it to have a derailment. So um, it's running pretty good. The B unit is a dummy. And uh, so it's survived another round. I'm back on the rails. Okay, let's do, uh, I'll give you a tour of what I've done so far. So, um, I got the yard track all done. I even got track into the engine shed. Um, so it's um, all in. The only thing I haven't done, I have not hooked up a bus line to it. But the track's all in. The buildings are secure. This is the machine shop I did. So um, it's working pretty good. And I've also started, you can see from back up a bit, I started the backdrop process. I got this corner done. I did a little bit of nail screw filling and I'll repaint everything one more coat after it's all done. But that's where it is right at the moment. So we're making progress. But I'm quite pleased with the yard. The trains move, I can move this around. I don't have any power disc, I can't do any with it yet. But it's quite smooth. This gimbal seems to fall up pretty good too. Move this out of the way here. I can move this. Uh, let's see how I can move this gimbal around. This gimbal is new to me. And we'll put the switch over here. Take it up here. Tracks all the way over to here now. Not the tools. But yeah, progress. And 
uh, yeah, I'm very happy with it. So, on a rainy day, I'll always get back at doing the wiring, but I'm going to leave that alone until after in the rain. I'm working on stuff outside that I need the outside to do weather, to work on. Here comes the, uh, the F7. Coming around the corner. See how this gimbal will, will follow it. So far I like it. Okay guys, I'm going to pause the camera, I'm going to set up and we'll see what else I can show you. Okay, I'm back. So, um, that's where he is on the layout so far. Uh, I'm going to work on the rest of a couple weeks, getting the uh, back background installed and a basic blue color for now. I'll start doing the painting process later on. Um, but it's coming along fantastic. Reminder, um, I'm live on my channel on Monday. And I gotta do a shout out, uh, Dave from Scott Rails. He, w he helped me fix the F7. Uh, he did, um, he did a repair of it. There's a video for it, and I will post a link to his repair video for the F7 Pink Locomotive uh, in the description of this of this video. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Um, I have a couple. Of, I have a new locomotive to put on the track for Monday. We'll test it out, and uh, have some more fun. Well, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I want to thank all my subscribers. Um, it's been a, a blast so far. Have lots of fun. Uh, I can't complain. And uh, we'll see what else, what kind of trouble we can get into. But that's it for now, guys. Uh, we'll keep in touch. We'll see you Monday and uh, go from there. Okay, guys, thank you. Okay guys, I'm back. Let's try and see if I can work this gimbal. And I hooked up a temporary power to the yard track and see what we can uh, maneuver by holding the re remote for the uh, trains and hook up, see if I can grab some passionate cars. So let's see what we'll begin to. This is a car rail, road number 1637. And I come into the yard here and I'm gonna pick up a couple box cars. See how they latch on. Oh, they latch on. Try it again. Oh, let's put the control down. There we go. Got the main thing. Oh, it didn't. A couple of us want to hook onto the car. Let's try it again. Do it manually. Coppers. Okay. Bit mangled. Now we're hooked up now. Let's see what we can do. We're going to skip the first turn out.
Let's go around that bear track. Nope. Not latching on. It. They can't come back down. Oh, I didn't want to hook on. Oh, I see why. That cupper's falling off. Now that's why it's not running. See, that's. Uh, yeah, copper came off. So we'll manually hook up. There we go. We'll do it the old fashioned way. Let's go up here. Stop it. So the switch. So we switch. Now we're going to go back up. And we're going to come into the middle second track. See if we can grab this car. Oh, we got it. Okay. We're going to go up to the end. If you hear the switch, we'll stop it. Like that. And we're going to throw this one. Back it up. And we're going to come back down here. And it all goes well. We're going to grab these two cars. And we got those two. So it's all the cars I can put on it because I don't have enough track to do more maneuvering. But we're going to go over here and we'll stop it at the, these two box cars here. I'll move these out of the way. And get more track in. Right? We'll stop it. And we'll come over here and we'll throw this track, that's what's for this one, and we'll back her up. Reverser. I'm going to back, take it back out again. Learning to switch the two at the same time. Come around the engine shed back on the other side. Slow her down. And we want to throw this switch. And we want to come into this one. Okay, let's back her up. I'll make 
make you dizzy, but work the gain roll, work the controls. Let's see what we get. Now this should come into the um, the fourth track. There we go. And that should come right through there. Throw that switch there. This should come up. So this track, this switch here. There we go. Now we're gonna stop here because I don't have any more track. Okay, now we reverse it. Technically, I should be able to get this train all the way over here. And I should throw that switch. But we're going to slow down. We're going to do that and have a collision. Now I remember Sparky's at the house yesterday he was showing me these markers I need to do where a train can pass. So I can throw this switch here. And technically I should be able to put this train onto this track, but I'm not gonna go too long. There we go. around the computer here. Roll reverser. train back over to the yard. And I hope we'll come through here. And we're gonna come into this track here. Don't get dizzy. I'm trying to watch the track. I'm just going to come into here. And throw you in there. This should take us right up into the uh, machine shop, but so we'll stop it. I'm running out of battery power on my phone. <laughs> Figures, eh? Technically, I can drive right into the engine shed. We won't go all the way because I got a, a pin blocking the way.
reverse it. Back her up. All the way that way. So I have enough space on this track to park about that six box cars after I hit the switch. So we can reverse it. Now I can do this, put this switch. Now I have this switch. And go way up to the end there. Let's reverse it. Now we can do this. The yard, it is working good. Just a matter of getting used to uh, using the switches. But that's progress in my books. Okay guys, so I'm gonna end this video now. And, the, uh, and we'll catch you on the next one. As Mike always says, keep it on the tracks. Like and subscribe, doesn't cost a dime. Have a good evening, fellas, and we'll sign off for now.